Welcome back. A young mother on TikTok has found internet fame by cleaning old headstones. Chris Conte introduces us to this very unlikely rising star who has a deeper message behind her work. It's definitely a time to commune with our shared human experience. A changing of the seasons, a passage of time. Mother Nature slowly puts this place to sleep. This is Maple Hill Cemetery in Dorset, Vermont. But Caitlin Abrams is wide awake. And while most people may look around here and see death, Caitlin sees life. This grave is for a little girl named Roselia Haskins. Winter is beginning to set in on this small cemetery tucked into a corner of Vermont, meaning Caitlin's time is running short. Okay, so first I'm gonna douse the stone completely in water. She's on a mission to restore old headstones, scraping away layers of the past to bring these people back to life. There's no shortcuts. Many of these graves date back to the 1700s. It is meticulous work to preserve the marble. It must stay wet constantly. We should never use bleaches, acids, household cleaners. After she scrapes and scrubs, Caitlin then covers the headstones in a restorative solution used by conservationists at Arlington National Cemetery. Because sometimes um, I'll clean a grave, I do the rinse, and it is a big old disappointment. The labors of her work often take time to appreciate, as the solution slowly will brighten up the stone. These are the first headstones Caitlin cleaned more than a year ago. The difference is profound. I like cleaning the ones that you can't really read uh, because it feels like you're giving that person their name back um, and a piece of their story back. And while she might be out here alone, Caitlin has managed to find herself quite the audience. This grave was for a young woman named Mary. She died at the age of 18. I have 1.8 million followers. I've been on TikTok for about six months and I'm 35 years old. Online, she's known as Manic Pixie Mom. Aside from all the tools she carries, each time she cleans a grave, Caitlin also has her phone. Hi, I'm here today at the grave of Sally Fitch. Some of her videos have been viewed hundreds of thousands of times. She has an audience across the globe. In 1870, he came upon a man walking on the train tracks with his back to the train. But for Caitlin, this is not just about cleaning up some old headstones. In each video, she narrates a story about the life of the person whose headstone she's cleaning, bringing them back to life for the first time in centuries, like Roselia Haskins, who died of scarlet fever at age four. She's buried in this family plot with her parents. This mother of two kids finds herself drawn toward the stories of headstones belonging to children. That kind of puts into perspective uh, the difficulty of 19th and 18th century life in particular. Um, for a lot of these families, you know, one disease would wipe out all five children in a matter of weeks or days. Over time, she hopes to clean at more cemeteries in more states, giving more people backstories that might have otherwise been lost. And while these headstones are part of history, Caitlin Abrams is making sure they don't become it as well. I think that we can really see cemeteries as sort of like an outdoor museum because they can tell you a lot of things about what these people valued and how they live. In Dorset, Vermont, I'm Chris Conti.